वेलकम डियर चिल्ड्रन स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स चिल्ड्रन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर चैप्टर नंबर एट दैट इज डिविजिबिलिटी लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ डिविजिबिलिटी अ डिविजिबिलिटी रूल इज अ शॉर्ट हैंड वे ऑफ डिटरमाइनिंग वेदर अ गिवन इंटीजर इज डिविजिबल बाय अ फिक्स डिवाइजर विदाउट परफॉर्मिंग द डिविजन usually by examining its digits children by using the divisibility rule we can easily find the divisor by just seeing the digits let's recall test of divisibility by 2 if there is 0 2 4 6 or 8 in the units place the number is the multiple of 2 or is exactly divisible by 2 in shortcut we can say a number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is even as you all know 0 2 4 6 8 are even numbers example c 354 your last digit is 4 78 your last digit is 8 872 here you can see units place is 2 3470 units place is 0 so this all numbers are divisible by 2 test of divisibility by 5 any number with 5 or 0 in the units place is a multiple of 5 or is divisible by 5 now here we have to see 0 Or five in the units place. If zero or five is in the units place, then the number is divisible by five. Example: five, one eighty, two eighty five, one nine three zero, and etc. Test of divisibility by ten. Any number that has zero in the units place is a multiple of ten, or is divisible by Ten. Now here we have to see the units place zero. If number has zero in its units place, then it is divisible by ten. It's also divisible by two also and five also, as we saw the test of two and five previously. Now children, take the textbooks in your hand. Read the numbers given below. Which of these numbers are divisible by two, five, or by ten? The numbers are in your textbook. Divisible by two, divisible by five, and divisible by ten. Now, first number is one twenty-five. It is divisible by five. Three sixty-four. It is divisible by two. Four seventy-five. It is divisible by five. Seven fifty. It is divisible by two, as well as five and as well as ten. Eight hundred is divisible by two, divisible by five, and divisible by ten. Six twenty-eight is divisible by two. Two hundred and six is divisible by two. Five hundred and eight is divisible by two. Seven thousand and nine is not divisible by. Any of the number two, five, or ten. Five, three, four, five is divisible by five. Eight, seven, one, zero is divisible by two, as well as five, as well as ten. Seven double zero nine is not divisible by any of the number. Children, let's learn some more tests of divisibility. Complete the table below. Children, you all can see four columns here. Numbers are given. First column, sum of the digits in the number. Second is the sum divisible by three, and the third one is is the given number divisible by three. Now first is sixty three. If you are adding the digits, we are getting nine. Now nine is divisible by three, so 
63 is divisible by 3. Now 872. If you are adding, we will get 17. Now 17 is not divisible by 3. So the number will be not divisible by 3. 91. 9 plus 1, 10. 10 is also not divisible by 3. So 91 will be not divisible by 3. 552. 5 plus 5 plus 2 equals to 12. Now 12 is divisible by 3. So 552 will be divisible by 3. 9 double 3 6. 9 plus 3 plus 3 plus 6 equals to 21. Now 21 is divisible by 3. So the number 9 double 3 6 will be divisible by 3. 4 5 2 7. 4 plus 5 plus 2 plus 7 equals to 19. Now 19 is not divisible by 3. So the number 4 5 2 7 will not be divisible by 3. Now what can we conclude from this? Yes, we got the test of divisibility for 3. If the sum of the digits in a number is divisible by 3, then the number is divisible by 3. Children, you have to add the digits of a given number and you have to check whether the sum is divisible by 3. If it is yes, then the whole number is divisible by 3. Now next table. Complete the following table. Again here you have given 4 columns. First one number. Second one divide the number by 4. Then the number formed by the digits in the tens and the units place. And is this number divisible by 4. Now the first number is 992. The number formed by units and tens place is 92. Now 92 is divisible by 4. So the whole number 992 will be divisible by 4. Now next 7314 the number 14 in units and tens place. Now 14 is not divisible by 4. So the number 7314 will be not divisible by 4. Now 6448 48. Now 48 is divisible by 4. So the number 6448 will be divisible by 4. 8116 means the number 16. Now 16 is divisible by 4. So the number 8116 will be divisible by 4. 773. The number 73. Now 73 is not divisible by 4. So 7773 will be not divisible by 4. 3024. The number 24. Now 24 is divisible by 4. So 3024 will be divisible by 4. Now what can we conclude from this children? Yes, we got the Divisibility test for 4. If the number formed by the digits in the tens and unit spaces of the number is divisible by 4, then that number is divisible by 4. Children, you have to check the number formed in the units and tens place. If that number you can divide by 4 or is divisible by 4, then the whole integer or whole number will be divisible by 4. Now the next table. Complete the following table. Here again you have got 4 columns. First is number. The next one is divide the number by 9. Is it completely divisible by 9? Sum of the digits in the number. And the last one is, is the sum divisible by 9? Now the first number is 1980. Now 1 plus 9 plus 8 plus 0 is 18. Now the sum is 18. Now sum is divisible by 9. So the Full number or the whole number 1980 is divisible by 9. Next, 2999. Now, if you are adding, you will get 29. Now, 29 is not divisible by 9. So, the whole number 2999 is not divisible by 9. Now, next, 5 plus 0 plus 0 plus 4 is 9. 9 is divisible by 9. So, the number 5004 is divisible by 9. Next, 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 8 plus 9 equals to 24. Now 24 is not divisible by 9. So 1, 3, 3, 8, 9 is not divisible by 9. Next, 7 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 is 27. 27 is divisible by 9. Yes. So the number 7, 5, 7, 8 will be divisible by 9. Next, 6 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 3 equals to 36. 
Now thirty six is divisible by nine. So six nine 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 three will be divisible by nine. So children, what can we conclude from this? Yes, we got the test of divisibility for nine. If the sum of the digits of a number is completely divisible by nine, then the number is divisible by nine. Children, test of three and test of nine are same. In both the numbers, you have to add the integers of the given number, and you have to check whether it is divisible by three and nine. Now, children, let's learn some more tests of divisibility. Test of divisibility by six. Now, here, children, what you have to see if a given number is divisible by two as well as three, then the number is divisible by six. Example, thirty-six. Now, thirty-six is divisible by two as well as three, so thirty-six is also divisible by six. One more example, one zero eight. One zero eight is divisible by two as well as three, so one zero eight is also divisible by six. This is the test of six children. Test of divisibility by eight. The last three digits are divisible by eight. Here you have to check the last three digits. If the last three digits are divisible by eight. Then the whole number is divisible by eight. One one two eight. Now one twenty eight. You have to check by doing the division. If it is divisible by eight, then one one two eight will be divisible by eight. One zero nine eight one six. Now here, if eight one six is divisible by eight, then the whole number one zero nine eight one six will be divisible by eight. Now once again, children, you all can do the revision of divisibility rules. Here we have not discussed rules for seven, eleven, and twelve. Rest we have discussed. Now let's solve this table. Now here the numbers are given, and you have to check whether the numbers are divisible by two, three, four, five, six, nine, and ten. Now the first number is forty-five. Now forty-five will be divisible by three, as well as five. And as well as nine, three sixty nine will be divisible by three and nine. You can see, you can confirm this by adding the digits. Three plus six plus nine. If the sum is divisible by three, then it will be divisible by three. And if the sum is divisible by nine, then it will be divisible by nine. The next number seven eight seven zero will be divisible by two. Will be divisible by five. As well as it is divisible by ten. Now one nine seven six will be divisible by two, divisible by four, and not else. Now next six double zero three will be divisible by three as well as nine. Now next one thirty six will be divisible by two, will be divisible by four. Next one six seven four. Will be divisible by two, divisible by three, divisible by six, as well as divisible by nine. Now, why six children? Because the number is divisible by two as well as three. So, if a number is divisible by two as well as three, then that number is divisible by six. Now, three five four nine six will be divisible by two, divisible by three, divisible by four. Divisible by six and divisible by nine. I hope, children, you all have understood this test for divisibility. Till then, stay home, stay safe, take care, everyone. Bye.